Lesson 39, part two, the properties of arithmetic continued. This is uh, Common Core Standard 6EE 3 and 4. But on this particular portion of the lesson, we're focusing on the distributive property. Go ahead and get your notes ready and push play when you're ready to begin. For this lesson, we're going to do, um, and we're going to do it fairly quickly because I want to keep the lesson short. Um, we're going to do three we do's and three you do's, but we're going to go we do, you do, we do, you do, we do, you do, because there's three different ways um, I want you to see the distributive property in action. So let's get to our first we do. We'll call it we do number one. All right. And so let's go ahead and write down four times x plus Two. Now, if I had a, um, a problem like this and I wanted to simplify into its simplest terms um, this expression, I can't solve it, right, because I don't know what x is. Can't solve it until somebody says Psst, x is this, or unless there's a number over here that I could do some puzzling together to figure it out. For now, all I can do is simplify it until something else comes along. So the distributive property when you're looking at something like this is you can um, take this 4 and multiply it times each of these that are in here. So you pass it out to this guy and you pass it out to this guy. Distribute. Distribute means to pass out, to hand out evenly, fairly. So we're distributing this 4 to both of these guys. So And, I, and we'll kind of use our knowledge of positives and negative numbers. So um, I'm going to pass the positive 4 to the x. Remember this parenthesis means multiply. So this is going to be 4 times x, also known as 4x. And then I have this positive 4 and this positive 2. So it's 4 times 2, which is 8, positive 8. That's as simple as I can get. I'm done. That is the answer if you're needing to, distrib to distribute into simplest form. There's nothing else I can do to this in order to, um, to solve it because I don't know what x is. I really am just stuck there. All right, so that was the we do on the distributive property in that way. So now let's have you do, do it on the same slide, you do this one, let's do 3 times x plus 5. Go ahead and try that one, push pause and then push play when you've got an answer. Okay, let's see if you got it. Um, so again, we're just going to pass this 3 out, that's 3 times x, which is 3x plus 3 times 5, which is 15. So hopefully you've got 3x plus 15 as your answer for that. That's all you can do for now until you can pull the x, um, until you're told what x is. Okay, so let's look at we do number 2. And now we're looking at the distributive property in the reverse from what we just did. Now we're looking at um, pulling common divisors out of there, sort of like we do when we put numbers on the ladder. If we had 18 and 9 on the ladder and I asked you, hey, what number divides evenly into both of them, you'd be pulling them out and then just setting them aside to multiply in for later. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to pull common divisors out of these two numbers, set them outside of the parentheses to be multiplied in later. So if I look at this, I could pull 3 out because 3 goes into both of them. I could also pull 9 out because 9 goes into both of them. I'll show that to you both ways, just so you can see. If I pulled the 3 out, it would be 3 times, and then that's going to be 6, 12, 18. It's going to be 6x plus 3. That's one possible answer. Um, if I had pulled the 9 out, so we'll put or, if I pulled the 9 out, it would be 2x plus and 9 into 9 is 1. So it could be that. Either of these two answers would be fine, would be correct. We're just showing that we can pull common numbers out. Usually you're trying to pull the biggest common divisor out, set it aside. Here it was here. Set it aside so that you have smaller numbers in here. That's usually the reason you use that sort of thing. So uh, let's see how you do on a you do kind of the same thing. So you're just, this is almost exactly like using the ladder. Don't let the fact that there's that X there throw you off. It's like using the magic ladder. Um, let's go with 15X plus 10. Um, so now do that 
distributive property in reverse, pull the common divisor out, set it outside the parentheses, and then tell me what you have there. Push play when you have an answer for that. Okay, so hopefully you've got an answer for that. Um, what I notice is that this uh, 5 is a um, divisor that can go into 15, and 5 can also go into 10. So I would be pulling the 5 out, setting it aside, and 5 fits into 15 three times. Still got that x there. I don't know what he is, so I can't do anything with him. And 5 fits into 10 two times. So 5 times 3x plus 2 is going to be the same as 15x plus 10. Same thing. So we just pulled that common divisor out, set him aside. That's what this part of um, the distributive property does. Okay, and finally, the third we do for today that I want you to recognize that is technically a distributive property is if you have something like x plus x plus x plus x, and this is kind of a precursor for part three that we'll do later. Um, anytime you have these letters like this, we're talking about one of them, one letter. So really, technically, what we have is 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x. They're the same thing. So if you have x plus x plus x plus x, um, you know that repeated addition is multiplication. How many times is it repeated? Four times. So it's four times x, also known as 4x. And I think that's why um, people just say 4x, because we look at this and go, hey, look at there, there's 4x's there, 4x. But everybody knows that we mean 4x is being added together. That's x plus x plus x plus x, which is multiply 4x, 4 times x. So when you see x plus x plus x plus x, the um, distributive property just says, hey, call it 4x and be done with it. Easy, okay? So that's all. This is, this is all you're looking for as your answer on that. So if we had a you do on the same idea, let's do y plus y plus y, then what would that be? Go ahead and push pause, get your answer on there, push play. It'll only take you a second, push play, and then see if you got the answer correct. Okay, so let's see if you got it. That's y plus y plus y. That's one, two, three y's. Three y is the correct answer. That easy. Yes. All right, if you get this, go ahead and get the closure. There's one of each type. If you need to go back and uh, review any of them before you go get the closure, go ahead and do that. And if you're still unclear on some of these, come see me and I'll help you out.